Working in the highest power transmission line in the world is surely not an easy job, given the fact that you need to really be careful not to be electrocuted with the flow of electricity in cable lines. Aside from that, the height you are in is also your enemy. But it seems like China's experts take this kind of job so easily. So you better watch the full video for you to see what I'm talking about. And having said that, join us in today's story as we unravel some of the most shocking power transmission projects and achievements that China's experts have done. Recently, there is something great that China has accomplished. The country has put into full operation a major domestic power transmission project that sends electric power from the resource-rich west of the country to energy-consuming regions in the east. The construction of the Baihetan Zhejiang 800 kV ultra-high voltage direct current power transmission project was successfully completed. Now it has already started operating the way it should be, according to the State Grid Corporation of China, State Grid. The clean electricity generated in Baihetan, the country's second largest hydropower station, will be sent from the southwestern province of Sichuan to the eastern Zhejiang province through a transmission line stretching 2,121 kilometers. Next up on the list, we have the construction of a 220 kV power line project in mountainous areas in Yi China's Anhui province in full swing. Completion of the project is expected to secure local power supplies and promote economic and social development. In China, the expansion of both AC and DC capacity continues in order to match generation to consumption demands while minimizing transmission losses. The Zhejiang section of the Baihetan Zhejiang Ultra-High Voltage Direct Current Power Transmission Project was completed in East China on Saturday. The transmission line begins with the Baihetan Hydropower Station, the world's largest hydropower station, in southwest China. It is an important part of the China's west-to-east power transmission program covering a total length of 2,140.2 kilometers, with a transmission capacity of 8,000 megawatts. The Zhejiang section of the project is 113.95 kilometers long, where 234 new power pylons are built. This is the first completed section of the entire project. World's highest transmission towers in Zhoshan, China will be put into service soon. Join us in this broadcast to find out how the gigantic towers are constructed. As China's most technically difficult cross-river transmission project, This has been an important part of the city's 500 kV power transmission project for two years ago.
Once operational, it will send renewable energy like wind power from the north of the Yangtze to the south, aiming to supply electricity for 8 million households. It is one of the most technically difficult cross-river network transmission projects in China, according to the state grid Jiangsu Electric Power Company, Limited. The world's previous tallest power transmission towers are the 380-meter-high twin pylons in Zhoushan, East China's Zhejiang province. An 800 kV ultra-high voltage power transmission project, built by the Brazil subsidiary of the State Grid Corporation of China, has benefited local people a lot by sending electricity to remote areas and creating jobs. UHV technology can transmit electricity over long distances with relatively low loss of power, and China is now exporting this technology. This line transmits electricity from Brazil's Amazon jungle in the north to power consumption centers like Rio de Janeiro in the south. In addition, the power project also creating more job opportunities for the local people. While the intermittent nature of new energy has long been a factor hindering its use on a large scale, the construction of a major power network is considered one of the solutions to this problem. China said it will continue accelerating domestic grid network construction with a focus on ultra-high voltage power transmission networks. It will mark an attempt to further ensure power supply stability and boost green power consumption in the country. And that's the end of our story for today. I hope you found this video interesting. So if you did, please leave a like and share this with others. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.